Good afternoon folks and welcome to another American Wireless Alarm how-to video. Today we're going to be showing you how to uh, install the uh, client software for the iPhone or Android. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to our Play Store. And what we're looking for here is the NVMS 7000 software. Usually by the time I just type in NVM, it'll pop up. This is the logo for it. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go ahead and install it. That's just going to take a few seconds to install. Okay, we're at 94% and it is installing right now. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the application. And it's going to give us some tutorial. You can feel free to explore that by scrolling through and it's going to show you that you can turn the phone to a 16 by 9 format or hold it upright and you'll get a 4 by 3. I'm going to skip all that. And uh, the menu up here, click on device. Click on the plus sign, we're going to add a device, and we're going to name it whatever we want to name it. So this is simply, let's say you have multiple locations of the same franchise, you're a Subway owner or a Domino's Pizza owner, Domino's Sarasota, Domino's uh, Bradenton, Domino's uh, Kentucky, Domino's Denver, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it matters not, just uh, so that when you have more than one DVR on your system, you know which one's which. So we're just going to call this test one. And then I'm going to go down to the IP address. Now this is going to be your either your local area network IP address or your wide area network IP address, depending on whether you're trying to log in to your DVR with inside the building using Wi-Fi or whether you're going to use your 3G connection when you're out roaming around. The most common program would be uh, when you're not in the building, you're going to use your phone to look at your uh, camera system, so you're going to use your wide area network. And this you'll obtain from your installer who has given you the wide area network IP address or your internet service provider. Okay, so the IP address we're going to put in is the wide area network IP address. Uh, that is going to be, in this case, I'm entering my own. It's defaulted at port 8000. Going down to the username, the default username is admin, A-D-M-I-N, and then the user password default is 12345. Once I've entered in all the fields that I need to enter in, I'm going to hit save, which is the upper icon in the very upper right corner. Hit save. Saves the information and it says you're highly recommended to change your default password and username. And just remember, if you do change your default username and password on the DVR and you forget it, it's not a simple fix. We don't have a way of uh, just arbitrarily uh, knowing what it is because we don't have a record of it. I'm going to hit the start live view for the first time I log in. It's going to pull up at least four cameras. And pulling up a uh, four camera shot. I can turn the phone this way. Double click on an image. I, when I turn it sideways, it gives me a 16 by 9 format, and then I can double click one particular camera view, and uh, that gives me uh, full screen. When I'm in the full screen, I can do the zoom, digital zoom, little our uh, magnifying glass over the corner, and then I can just make that a little bit larger and focus on just one area of that room. If I want to go back, I'm just going to turn off the digital zoom double click the image, I go back to my uh, quad screen. If I have more than four cameras on the system I would swipe and this brings me over to the next four cameras and again I would swipe again for the next four and the next four depending on the size of your DVR. 
So that's pretty much the simplicity of live view on my system. The next thing I can do is I can take this and oh, don't want to do that. And I can do what's called a live playback. So while I'm remotely uh, somewhere else, I can click my menu, do remote playback, and then I can play back video from another day and another time. So I'm going to go into my cameras and I'm going to tell it the start time is going to be May 11th at 1600 and... 0 minutes. I'm going to say the stop time is going to be May the same day. the 11th and I'm going to make that 1600 and 15 minutes past and I'm going to go into that DVR and which camera do I want to play back I want to play camera number one and I'm going to hit start playback down at the bottom and now I'm playing back oh no record so there's no video on that date on that time that I put in. within a couple seconds of video recording something should change in the room up and it went from that's when it went from color to black and white it must have gotten dark and that changed the video setting which made it uh, create an image down here I can also drag along and look for different times and playback video from other times just by dragging the timeline to 2200 hours and it'll just start playing the next available video Go to midnight and so just going through time by time and when I'm all done with that I can simply go back to my previous and always remember to log out of your video when you're all done back out of it log out confirm and that is all there is to it thank you for watching another how-to video by American Wireless Alarm and if you uh, enjoyed this please subscribe to it and give us a like Thank you, folks.